Hello everybody, my name is BTP Adventures and I am playing the Rangers Apprentice mod for Mountain Blade Warband. So let's get into it. This is one of my favorite mods for the game. And alright, I think I got it. Since they always ask you for like your name, I'm gonna put there. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Going to need persuasion, leadership, because you're going to need to recruit people, shield, no. Let's put one into that, and trainer, tracking. This is usually why I do for. Uh, Matt and Blade games. I do these two also, and my and one in Prisoner Management. I usually go with one-handed and a crossbow. So let's just. I guess we're going for that guy. I've read the Ranger's Apprentice books, and I don't think Hala Holm is in Swadia. I think it might be Scandia. I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying to think of something besides Rollin because that kind of seems um too obvious to pick. So I've always liked the. Um, I was really liked the, um, Viking people, so I think this is Viking. You have come through the Vajir Highlands, a plateau exposed to the bitter winds from the north. The land here is frozen for most of the year, but the forests are rich with fur-bearing game, and the rivers are teeming with fish. The riches of the land draw the traders, but the traders in turn draw bandits. Wow, I, I, I don't think I chose the right one. You saw that the occasional dark figure mounted on a shaggy pony, watching the passage of your caravan from a snowy ridge. That's not good, and we're glad when the spires of Ravadin came into view across the wide valley. Oh. I think this is just a vanilla thing. I've never really read these. I've read this one. Just pause it if you... Ah, I forgot. I put the sensitivity too high. There, kill him. Then I can take his. Sh oh, this guy's quest is really bad. Like you just have to find his brother. So it's an easy quest. It's like a tutorial quest, even though there's a tutorial in the game. Yeah, this is Scandia, I think. Halashom. Uh, okay, recruiting people. And a lot of people tend to use cheat on this game, so I'm going to not do that with this playthrough. So, yeah. Who is the guy? I, I don't know where the guy went, and... Oh, I thought that was a guy with a quest or something. Let's see here. Would he be up here? Yeah. 
Yeah, he's right here for some reason. <sighs> this guy, like, talks a lot. So, let's see here. I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. I brought steel, blah blah blah, charge the enemy. Um, one tip, I would never, ever, um, let the AI do it themselves, like, with the don't go into battle part. I mean, you can always, like, use, um, you're able to control your troops in this game, so I usually use that for formations, but not at the start, because... There's really only one kind of troop. Well, I killed like two guys, right? Yeah. So... I won that, and this guy you spare him or whatever and you know where his hideout is and then you can take um, armor and stuff so let's see then you I think you go back here and talk to the guy again So, in this mod, you get a lot of troops, and that's, like, you get a lot of troops when you recruit them. In the normal game, you only get, like, maybe two or three, but in this one, you get, like, 18 is the one of the lowest ones, <laughs> if you've never been to that village. So then... You go into the party member, the party menu, and then you can upgrade these people. So I have to find that, hi here's the hideout. It's not too far away. So, yeah. You guys may have noticed that I'm posting Ranger's Apprentice again. That's because that was other one was my first video. So you may be wondering why I'm posting this again. It's because that other one was my first video and it was terrible. So I am making a new better one. One that I hope won't um, stutter as much. Alright, so... Yeah, um... Let's see. Um. Yeah, um. You're supposed to kill all these people. And then his brother comes out, and it, like, when you killed everyone. So, this guy is supposed to be wearing, like, one of these. One one of those helmets but it's not for some reason this game is actually pretty good even though the graphics are bad and it's actually one of my favorite and there's that brother guy
So you can take those, let's see, 11, 14, let's see, 24, 3. I mean, I can take everything, so I can sell them somewhere else. Because right now I have almost a thousand um, monies. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> but let's see here. Oh yeah, and for your troops you need to buy food. Like I have fish. So I'm going to buy more fish and some bread. I'm selling stuff here. Pretty much everything that I don't use, I sell in this game. There. So, yeah. Um. Then. Um. This isn't much ra actual stuff from Ranger's Apprentice. This is more of the game itself. So I will get to all that stuff in a minute or two. Right after I get money from this guy. Alright. So let's see. Let's go to the castle. And people from the actual books are supposed to be here. I don't think these people are, like, for the girls, but, uh, Erex Star, Star Follower, he was one of the main characters in, I think, book three and four, books three and four of the Ranger's Apprentice series. So, yeah, he is, I'm guessing this is years after, um, Ranger's, like, at, Ranger's Apprentice, actually, so, um, there are some people, like, up in rank than they were in the books, so, they really only showed, like, three Jarls in Scandia, so, I think I'm not gonna do much of this, or the Temujai, because they don't show that many. But I think I may do the Riddy and um, the Rowan, like a full overview of those. So I'll be right back when I get to travel there. Alright, I'm back and um, Al Hazad. This is one of the, I think this is one of the places from the books. And so it, I think Mar Marauk is. I know Al Shaba is part of the books. So let's get to who's in them. I forget all the names of a lot of the people. So um if you're a Rangers Apprentice fan, don't don't hate me. <laughs> Hold on. There was no one there, but there was someone over here that I could, didn't get to see. Eh. Oh. This is... This is, like, the one person that they show from in the books. I am awesome. <laughs> see? That's a bit funny. <laughs> so, yeah, he was a person that helped a Will and all of them during, like, I think book six or something. The one where they went to the desert. And speaking of Will, I am about to go to Aralin because I think that's about as much as to see here. So, be right back. Alright, I am back. And, um, I'm at Castle Seacliff, which is one of the 
castles from the like I think all of them. Oh, perfect. So this is one where I think Will went to substitute or something like. No, this was his fief for a while. But um, I guess this is controlled by Hall, which um is a uh, leader of the castles and stuff. I don't know why. I don't know how they could have gotten around that where he couldn't be, but they So, I don't blame him for him like being able to control castles. So, that was the first castle in Castle Rollin. Um this is like the main castle in um Ranger's Apprentice. Ew. So, yeah. Let's see. So, let's see who is in here. King Duncan, which is the king from Ranger's Apprentice, is here. So, there's that. Yeah, and he's the king of Aralan in this. And I think this went from like a let's play to a showing off of the mods, but... Oh yeah, Castle Caraway, another one of the castles. I, I don't think they ever talked about this guy, Baron Marath away. So, yeah. So, then... Castle McCain, though, that was one of the castles where Will went, and... Like, there was a book called Siege of McCain, though, or something. And Council Ranger Bartell. Who's Bartell again? I forget who that is, because I haven't read the book in a while, but th actually I forgot to say, this is what the ranger's outfit looks like, and the ranger horses and bows do a lot of damage, like a huge lot of damage. So there's that, and... Oh, and here's a li little glitch. Baron Arold controls no Norgate, which he's supposed to control Redmont or whatever, whatever it's called. And a bunch of the lords are messed up in this. Uh, Coldale, I don't think they did anything with that or Merrick or Whitby. In the books, there's a lot of council rangers controlling ca castles. I don't know why the creator of this mod chose to do that. And let's go to the place where most of the first uh, first book takes place. It's Castle Redmont. That's where Will was in the orphanage. So there's that. Um, after this episode, I am going, I am actually going to be playing, like, like you would act, like I would actually play instead of doing the showcase of the game. And, Barrowdale, I have no idea what that is. Martin side. Um, that was. I don't think they did anything with that either. I think the mod creator just made a lot of this up for just to fill in spaces. So yeah. Um. After. So after I see who's here, I will show off the weapons. Of, and the horses of it, the game. 
Alright. I'll be right back after I get all the stuff. Alright, I am back. I got uh, almost all of Ranger's weapons except the arrows and the clothes. So I have the horse, the bow, the two, and the two knives. So I'm going to be showing those off. So, yeah, I'll have those guys hold back there. And this horse is super fast, as you can see. And, um, this bow does lots of damage if you have the ranger's am arrows with it. But you can see it's doing like 30. 40 damage and that and this knife it does a lot of damage also and in this game you have the double knife defense The double knife defense, uh, it uses like the texture of a knife, but is used as a shield. And you can. And this other knife is called a sax knife, like they do in the books. So this bow is pretty big. And did my ho yeah my horse died. Such a shame. So that is the Rangers Apprentice mod. Um, if you want me to continue, um, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see everyone later.